save her. My daughter. How's it going guys? Lucian Sword here playing some more Breath of the Wild for you guys today. This beautiful morning, as always, I'm actually standing on top of Gerudo Town. I was at the entrance, like, standing on top of that little thing up there, and then I looked back and I saw this massive tower and I was like, I bet there's a Korok seed up here. Plus it would be a cool place to start the video. <laughs> and uh, lo and behold, looks like there is. Ooh, a star face. Alright, cool. So, in this episode, we're gonna venture to the Yiga clan. Gather additional information from soldiers and head to the thieves' hideout. We already know where the thieves' hideout is. We marked it last episode. I want to rent a sand seal, which I think we can do that somewhere around here. And uh, then we'll make our way over there. Vazak. Twenty rupees. Nice apron. Man, they really love sand seals here. All right, I don't want to surf on this beautiful shield. A surf on the guardian shield. All right, so we are going to this red marker up here. This is the entrance to the Yugu clan. This is a place that is uh, very, very hard to do. So hopefully I don't die too many times. It's one of those areas where like, they really want you to do stealth. And if you don't use stealth, well, you have to fight a lot of really hard enemies all at once in a really tight place. And pretty much most of them can one shot you. So, you're almost guaranteed to die, unless you use stealth. So, we'll try. Uh, we'll try to stealth it. I haven't really tried to stealth too much in this game yet, as far as like main quest stuff. But if we can't, if we get discovered, we're gonna have to try to fight our way out. So, we'll see how it goes. Holy cow, that's a lot of lizards. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at all those guys. Uh, let's summon Wolf Link, AKA Zubmore. And let's get out of our girl clothes. We don't need to be wearing these clothes anymore. Uh, let's put on our Gerudo male armor. And our sand boots. They don't look as cool, but they walk a lot faster, so. Alright, um, yeah, you guys. What are you guys doing up there? <laughs> <laughs> You guys thought you were so clever. <laughs> oh man, when I shot the bomb arrow and they all went flying. That definitely was a great start to the episode. I love that these sand seals don't go away either if you rent them. They just kind of chill. Trying to turn. Come on, baby. You can do it. Alright, let's go. So this is a really beautiful entrance to the canyon. Um, there might be a secret or two around here. I'm not, I don't really remember exactly. We just gotta be careful that we don't get jumped at any moment. Matter of fact, I kinda, okay, okay, let's, let's sit over here for a second. Ooh, sorry about that, buddy. Oh, I don't have my uh, Revali's Gale, so let's put on some climbing gear really quick. Wait, where's my climbing helmet? Oh, there it is. My bad. Sorry about that, buddy. I know that was a big bonk on your head. I think if we go up here... Let's use whole set. Climbing jump stamina up. 
Look at that, you can like jump twice as much. Is there anything up here? Nothing. I gotta imagine there's something up one of these things, you know what I mean? All these like frog statues? What is going on? Oh look. They want an offering. I bet. I bet you it's not apples. We could try, but I bet you it's bananas because the Yiga clan people love bananas. Wolfen, can you move? You're so rude. Just stay, stay over there. I bet you this won't work, but we could try. Okay. Now let's try banana. Banana. This is funny, I never actually went up here on my other playthrough, so I did not know that these were here. I hope this works. Yes! Oh my gosh. We got it. Easy. That's funny. That was really funny that they actually do take bananas. Alright, Sand Seal, are you still uh still chilling? You still chillin'? Okay, you are cool. Let's keep going, buddy. I'll try not to ram your head into, into the cliff again. Ooh, I want to go up on that cliff, too, actually. Oh, boy. Oh, how did I not get hit? That was lucky. All right, let's climb up here and see if there's another secret or ore or anything like that. Ooh. Oh, wow. Four of them? Okay. Another Korok seed? Like... It's actually kind of hard to put them down. Like, there you go. How many Korok seeds are up here, man? Oh my gosh, another one. I got tea in front of me, but I'm not drinking it yet because it's too hot. Probably by the time... No, Wolf Link, these bananas are not for you. So what, is there going to be another Korok seed up here? That would be crazy. We had to do three or four bananas. Oh my gosh, there is. This one is five. Alright, Wolf Link, I really don't want you to eat these, so you... You stay? Yeah, he was trying to. After I get Rivali's the Korok seed, then you can have him, okay? Oh, thank you, Rivali. You're a little bit too late, but yeah, thank you. Oh my gosh, Wolf Link, just chill for a minute. You can have all of them after I get the Korok seed. So three Korok seeds in a row right here. Easy. Starleaf. All right, Wolf Link, go. They're yours. Have fun with that. So let's see. Looks like we're almost to the top. Wow, the, how many Korok seeds are in this place? Actually, Wolf Link, all right, you only get two. I'm probably not even gonna need you. I think from here we, we, we can just walk. I don't think we need the sand seal. Let's go. Matter of fact, let's use our Moonlight Scimitar and our Radiant Shield. We are in full Gerudo Desert outfit. Gosh, that looks so cool, doesn't it? So cool, so cool. All right. We sh yeah, we should be near the top, and then uh, I think that we're going to get ambushed at some point, so that's always fun. I don't have Daruk's protection. That one seems to respawn, like, forever to, 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 re to recharge. Alright. We're about at the top. Okay, yep, there it is. Wow. That's all you got? Pathetic. One rupee we missed, that's alright. Anybody else? Anybody else? 
I got a feeling we're going to get jumped. Anybody want some of this? Pathetic. Did <laughs> Wolf like trying to eat those bananas again? All right, I think that was it. We made it to the entrance. So, oh yeah, this is the Yiga Clan. Look at that, cool statues and everything, right? So, on first glance, it looks like there's nothing here. Let's set our scimitar down for a second, pick up a torch. And I believe we can use this torch to discover some secrets. Sapphire, all right. Next. I don't remember which one of these is the actual way, but... We'll find it. Oh, bats. It'd be cool if you hit the bat, regular bat with a fire, that it would turn into a fire bat wing or something like the uh, chew jellies do. That would be cool. Burn, baby, burn. More bats. Oh man, you broke my torch. That's okay, we got another one. They really do put like four torches over here. More bats. Ooh, another chest. Oh man, this music is already giving me uh, vibes that we're gonna get killed. This place is so so hard to. You got well, you'll see, you'll see. All right, we got a couple more rooms. That's it. It's got to be one of these. Hey, we found it. But let's let's check the other spots. Let's check the other spots. You arrived in the thieves' hideout. You could sense many people waiting within. You would be at a disadvantage if a fight were to break out. Sneak into the hideout. Recover the Gerudo Chief Serum. So this is a sneak mission, guys. Sneak mission. Vicious Sickle. Not bad. One more. One more. I'd rather have the Moonlight Scimitar than a Vicious Sickle, though. <clears throat> Just saying. <laughs> Nothing but bats. Alright. Let's get our Moonlight Scimitar back. Oh boy. Alright, here we go guys. This is probably uh this is probably gonna be bad, but we'll see. I really don't wanna die. <laughs> our vid our our video uh streak without dying is so long right now. Barda? Hey, what are you doing here? This is the hideout of those Yiga thieves who stole the Thunder Helm. If they spot you, they'll call their friends for sure. There's no way you could take them all on. If only you had some way of distracting them, but I don't know how. All I ever see them do is patrol and eat bananas. I haven't seen anything else that you could exploit as a weakness. Listen, this place is dangerous. You should get out of here while you can. I can take care of myself. Yeah, I... We can see that you can take care of yourself. You're locked in a cell. Alright, so... Like I said, we're gonna have to use stealth, so... Let's stealth up. And, uh, I guess we could use that stealth outfit more of a more of a shika this is like the shika versus the yiga so we might as well do uh you know shika armor anyway we are going to utilize bananas as well all right there's a guy here so i think what i'm gonna do Drop some bananas right there. Right. Now, I'm pretty sure with these guys, if we hit him... 
in the back. It's a one hit kill. And it is. If we hit them in the back, but they detect us, it won't one hit kill them. And they'll call their friends. And it's really bad. So we don't want that to happen. Alright, this guy looks like maybe we can do this. No? Go over there. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I thought we could stealth it. I tried to do a sneak attack, but the button never came up. Okay, we might die here. If I can kill this guy, we have a chance. Oh, sweet. We actually did. Dang, we actually did it. All right, all right, so we learned a lesson. We have to be very careful on the sneak strike. It has to pop up, sneak strike, otherwise it won't work. And you saw what happens when it doesn't work. We get jumped by like 20 people. That was only the first room. If we, if we do that in the next room, we're dead for sure because there's twice as many people. Ooh, his sword went up here. The wind cleaver. This sword is favored by high-ranking members of the Yiga. When wielded by a proficient fighter, its unique shape cleaves the very wind and creates a vacuum. Ooh, let's see. Oh yeah, that's cool. Another vicious sickle up there. Alright. Let's go up the ladder first. Oh my gosh. Alright, so this is the real test. This room in here is very hard. There's two, three, I think there's four big guys. Oh yeah. Let's get the banana stash. The horde of bananas. We found their secret stash. And... Topaz, alright. All right, so let's let's see our surroundings. There's one guy right there. There's one guy below us with a bunch of gems. There's a guy over there. Let's watch for a second so we can learn their patrol patterns. Man, the sheath for this sword is weird. It's like it's like a giant tail or something. All right, so is there only three? There's one, two, three guys. There might be four. There might be another one over there, but I don't know. All right, so here's the plan, guys. Let's try dropping some bananas. It's our only hope to distract them. Got him. Dang, I was so nervous it wasn't going to work. Alright, this guy's going to be a little bit harder. Especially if there's another guy over there that patrols. Oh, uh, there is a dude. Please don't come this way. Whew. There is a dude over by the door over there. Alright. Let's grab our bananas. I'm going to grab a bunch. Wait. To make him really... He's going to go for the bananas, and then we go for the strike. Oh, we are so good. 
Let's go up. Oh, that was hard. All right. What is up here? Ooh, chest. Good thing we explored. Another topaz. If I fall down, I'm probably gonna get their attention. Another chest. Nice. Don't forget, these uh, banner things, we can burn them. So there might be something behind one of those banners, remember? But first, let's kill the people. Alright, so this guy... Let's see what he does. Does he walk around, just back and forth, back and forth? Yeah. Ooh. That one is really close, too, so... No! I did not see this guy. Okay, we're probably dead. Oh my gosh, I did not see him. If we can kill the weak ones right away, then we have a better chance. These guys are gonna be hard. I'm not taking any chances. And I'm dead. <laughs> Literally one hit. Beware, fool, the eye of the Yiga. Okay. I really didn't think we would get through this without dying, so not surprised. Still, oh, that sucks. Well, now we know. There's a dude, like, hiding down there, okay? I did not see that guy. He was totally stealth. And now we have to do the whole thing over again. Yay! Don't you love games like that? And there's no way to save or anything, so yeah. Alright. No more Mr. Nice Guy. You guys thought I was being nice last time? Now we're going King of Evil. Yeah, their scabbard is crazy. Now we know that there is another guy. See, I thought there was four guys. Ugh, or five, whatever. Got him. We did this part pretty good, so we just have to do this part again the same way we did before. No, no, no. Go to the bananas. Go back to your home. How does he not see the banana? Okay. Whew. All right. Let's get the chest. Did I get this chest last time? I don't even remember. Sapphire. All right. Now we're in the hard part again. So... Yeah, there's a dude... That guy patrols right there. Then there's two guys right over there. Well, I think the the way that we did it the first time was actually really good. We just we just messed up and dropped down right in front of that dude. Dang, that was so dumb. I should have looked down. All right, let's grab the banana stash. Yum 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 yum. At least we know like where to go, what to do this time. So we'll be a little bit better. 
No more death. No more death. Alright, let's see. This is the type of place where if you don't do it patiently, you're going to end up spending a lot of time in here because they're just going to kill you over and over and over. I was so scared because it said take, it didn't say uh, sneak strike, but it still worked. Alright, this guy... This guy shouldn't be too hard. We're gonna throw a couple out here like we did last time that worked really well. Then we wait. Oh man, he went the wrong way. That didn't work. I'm not even gonna do it. I'm not even gonna do it because he'll see me. Let him go back to his regular routine. Okay. What if he saw my cape? Would that be enough? <laughs> yes! Okay. Oh, there's a barrel right there! I forgot you can sneak in the barrel. Alright, well, before we do that... I forgot you can sneak in the big barrel. We should do that. Alright, let's go up here. Grab the chest. Topaz. Let's grab this chest as well. Silver rupee. Now, there's a dude right there. That's kind of hard. I'm thinking about how we can do this. Maybe I have to distract him first by throwing some bananas over here or something. Oh my gosh, he went that far away. I feel like if I jump down, I'm gonna get seen though. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they are all going for it. This is so hard.
Can you really sneak by them with this guy? With this barrel? Ready to roll. I don't want to get caught. Oh my gosh. I'm not trying to throw them right there. Oh my gosh. I don't want them all to go. I just want the one by the door to go. I just want this guy to move. How does he see from that far away? Oh my gosh. Got him. Oh my gosh, finally. Yo, we made it. We made it to the treasure room, guys. Oh yeah. To pass, and let me guess what's in the big chest five bananas. Let me take a sip of my tea. Hmm. Banana. Yep. I feel like there is a secret beyond just this right here, though. Yeah, that's like the ending. Um, there's more than meets the eye over here, guys. We have to find a way to kill these last two guys. I think now that we have the one guard gone, we can do this. Oh my gosh, we did it. We killed them all. I think we did. All right. Now with these, I'm pretty sure one of these is a secret. Called it. Gold rupee. They really reward you for thinking about this. 600 rupees. My goodness. And that's not all. What's up here? Oh, we could have just went there from, from right there. Okay. Any more secrets over here? I don't think so. Just checking with my magnesis. Alright, cool. 
I think we can continue on. We only died one time in this place. That's really good, guys. Now let's get that Thunder Helm. Big open area. That could only mean one thing in Zelda games. Boss fight. Big giant death pit. That could mean only one thing Ooh. in video games. We're kicking somebody down there. Hey! <laughs> Who the heck are you and what are you doing in my napping spot? <laughs> Wait a minute. That thing on your hip, is that, could it be a Sheikah Slate? If that's a Sheikah Slate, then that means... Yeah, it's you! You're that Link guy I've been looking for! What luck! My scout's out in the field looking high and low, but you just wander into my hideout! Oh, uh, excuse me, I haven't introduced myself. I am the leader of the Yiga Clan! The strong, the burly, the one, the only, Master Koga. Now prepare yourself. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm banking him. With the Master Sword. You big dummy. He's mad. Ooh, two at once? That's so crazy, dude. Lucky you didn't fall down the death pit. Hey, special occasions call for special bows. Oh, he really mad now. Time to take a sip of tea. Oh, shiny. Oh my. You really want to do this game, bro? My bad. Bet that one hurt. Really, you wanna do that again? Oh man, that did a lot of damage. Light arrow's going right through him. You wanna do that one again? Really, that's your plan, huh? Just keep doing the same thing. Interesting. <sighs> Who would have thought I'd be done in like this and by this guy of all people? You think I'm just gonna let this stand, do you? Ahem, I almost lost my temper there. Arg, what a pain. I can't go out this way. What to do, what to do? Ah, I got it. Meh. <laughs> I need to bust my serious moves. A secret technique taught by my father's mother's fathers. It will destroy you. This is the end.
That's a big ball, dude. Aha, uh, huh, maybe it's just a tad too big. Are you still over there? Well, no matter. Pretty soon you'll be gone. And not just from my line of sight. Only the leader of the Yiga clan can use this secret technique. It is the ultimate. <laughs> Coward! I shall be remembered! The Yiga clan will track you to the ends of Hyrule! <laughs> hey, where's my master Thunderhelm? That's all I want. You didn't have to fight me. Just give me back what you stole. The Thunderhelm, a precious Gerudo heirloom reclaimed from the Ika. It has the power to withstand a Boris Lightning. Guard it with your life until you can return it to Riju. Or we could just keep it. Well then, that was fun. I guess, uh, I guess we're free to go. Although, uh, we are at time, so I'm gonna have to end the episode here, guys. We will explore up and beyond, because I, I wonder if there's, like, a shrine nearby so we can teleport back to this place or something. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. This was fun. I'm happy we only died once. <laughs> if you enjoyed, please drop a like and subscribe for more Breath of the Wild. As always, this is Lucian Sword. I hope to see you in the next episode, guys. Take it easy. Actually, for extended footage, if you want, I'm going to summon some amiibos real quick. Oh, yes! Fierce Thaidi armor. Attack up. Legend has it this armor once belonged to the hero of a world in which the moon threatened to fall. When you wear it, you feel fierce godlike power flow through you. Oh, that looks so amazing.
we are not getting very good items this time. Last one. 